of eight. <coughs> it's Salernitana versus Fiorentina. Salernitana plus 480. Fiorentina minus 170 away from home with their form. Yeah, they had the odd good performance. Uh, under or over two and a half goals with the over at minus 120. I thought that was a likely runner. The draw at plus 290. Salernitana to score a minus 160. Mina, this is yours. What have you found here? Okay, this is an interesting one because I, I've i said it before on here. Davide Nicola came on and he's the coach of Salernitana ever since January. They changed their sporting director and went for Baldini. Everyone remembers him from obviously some really, sorry, Sabatini from some big jobs, including Roma. And now, you know, with his experience and having the likes of Davide Nicola as your coach, things have somewhat changed from for this team. They play much better football. I mean, it's still a bad squad. Don't get me wrong. They are still a team that got defeated 5-0 by Inter. But they managed a 2-2 against Sassuolo. They managed um, a goal against Roma before Roma came back. They have managed uh, to win their last two games. And frankly speaking, I feel sorry with, for them when I think about Roma because that could have been three really positive results in a row. They're trending upwards right now. When it comes to with to Fiorentina, I feel like Fiorentina, you know, you, you know what we think of them when they're on the road. <clears throat> Secondly, right now they're with Bono, without Bonaventura, without Castrovilli, and probably without Lucas Torero, which is huge absences in midfield. They tried to fix Icone into one of them against Juventus, and 3-0 on aggregate was the final score. So there were problems there. Their midfield is not functioning right now the way they want them to. Um, so my feeling is that Fiorentina played midweek. They're tired. They've lost players there. Saler and Itana are trending upwards. They have a lot of confidence. They're trying to pull off, pull off a miraculous recovery from rele relegation. So my money's on them scoring a goal, but I found value more if they scored a goal in the first half. And I'm all about getting as much value as possible. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you've talked me into maybe having a piece of Saler and Itana at plus 480, plus 500. Matty, is there any uh, numbers or anything that can give me just that little bit push over the edge to press the button on Salernitana to beat Fiorentina, who, not to, to be honest... Too far. You think? Too far. I think they scared can money. Well, I just don't know if they can beat Fiorentina. But I could make... Listen, everyone in the chat, Mitch, Fiorentina, half-time, full-time, plus 160. Fiorentina, team total, and over five and a half corners at minus 110. Fiorentina moved now to minus 145, by the way. So money obviously is coming in on Salernitana, or people do not want to be betting Fiorentina. Uh, Matty, Salernitana, we, it is that strange time of the season where teams, especially Fiorentina being so tired after midweek, do we see a shock plus 500 winner? Um. I'm not going to be able to provide you with any numbers that would be in favor of Salernitana, uh, but situationally, yes. I, I mean, situationally, I think this is this is uh, an interesting spot for them. Um, definitely, they can get on the board early and maybe take the lead in this game. I, I think they definitely have a chance to win. Um, Fiorentina is re really one of their weaknesses, especially early in the season, even before the. Um, obviously, they had quite a few roster moves before that. They were struggling to score over one and a half goals, just like Torino was on the road. Um, they've really struggled to do that all year. They've only done it three or four times. Um, so if Salernitana can score two goals, they definitely have a very good chance to win this game. Okay, what price is it, Salernitana? Sorry, Mina. You can keep talking. I'm just going to get the numbers put up there. Okay. Because I want, to, I want to see Salernitana and see if it's just a It's only at half a goal. Maybe on the alternate. I mean... 125, one. they could lose the game. I get a push if it's by one. I'm looking at that 480, and it's why looking you why, don't you, why don't you go for that? I mean, I'll tell you something. Against Milan, Roma, Napoli, Sampdoria, Sassuolo, this is all recent games, and I didn't even go through all of them. All In, in all of those matches, Salah and Itana scored a goal in the first half. They start off really well, and then, you know, obviously then allow other teams to stage a comeback. But they. But do I don't believe that Fiorentina have got enough strength to come back against the Salernitana side who are big and strong when they've got their tails up. Yeah. Fiorentina don't do well against teams that are pragmatic in nature. They do better against philosophers. So Fiorentina can rip apart like a Napoli, right? Who plays yeah. like a nice style of football. But when it comes to aggression and tackling and stuff, Fiorentina struggles to score more than a goal against those teams. So that's the thing that worries me about them. Yeah, I mean, there's two ways to play this now. It's Alenatana to be plus one at minus 125. That means if I lose 2 1, 3 2, 1 0, it's a push. 
but I've got a double chance at minus 125. And also, if that's San Antonio are going to get something out of the game, as Mitch rightly says, and that's why you should be on the Premier League show next week, Mitch. Don't be shy, all right? Do Don't it, be Mitch. shy. Over two and a half at minus 120. Um, yeah, listen, it's one of those. I'm liking that 480, but make sure you follow at BetUS Soccer because this could well be a game where I'm jumping. If I have a good time, I'm throwing a unit at plus 480 because I need it. So let's see. Um, official picks then, please, because we've made cases. We don't really want to be with Fiorentina, that is for sure. Salah Natana to score in the first half at plus 190. You are like Jesse James or Billy the Kid coming out firing, Lena. That's plus one night. That's massive. You're looking more like uh, Wyatt Earp, Matty. Um, okay, so there's uh, San Antonio to score. Do like the plus 480 on them as well. Um, Steve Gregory San Fiori, uh, Fiorentina only uh, conceded six corners in the last three games. Maybe unders there then. 